Okay, yeah, you wouldn't know I was a tech guy, right? Okay, so welcome everyone. Thank you so much for being here tonight um, for our very, very, very special sound swap event. Uh, I'm just going to take a minute. We're, we're going to get started probably in about four or five minutes, but I just want to take a moment to uh, A, thank you all for coming. Uh, B, to remind you, Brian had mentioned it, but the beautiful music you were listening to as you were walking in uh, is actually Lawrence and Hope's daughter, Ilse, and Ilse Juber's new album. So uh, go home and look that up. Uh, also, just let you know of a few things coming up. Um, on uh, when, when are, Barry, when are we? I, I lost track of Barry. A week from tomorrow. So a week from tomorrow, uh, my band Shindig, our band Shindig, will be up here making some noise. Uh, that is November 4th. Uh, so again, we're celebrating the fifth anniversary of our 25th anniversary. Um, because that sounds a lot better than saying our 30th anniversary. Uh, also, too, uh, please make your way here uh, on um, December 8th. Does anybody know John Ford? Has anybody seen John Ford? We love John Ford. John Ford's our buddy. John Ford loves this stage. So uh, we are always so happy to have uh, John here. Uh, other shows coming up. Oh, uh, the Hootenanny. The Hootenanny is November 18th. So if you want to see a bunch of guys, some of whom have uh, will be playing songs that they've played together, and we'll be playing some songs they've never played together. So it's always how it works, and uh, we always have fun doing it. Some of the members of the Terrace Band, the Hoot Nanny Band, are up front here. Um, Mind Open is one again. <laughs> you see how on top of this I am. Thank God for Brian up there. And pl give a round of applause for Brian even before the show starts, because without Brian, the whole... Uh, up, up, yeah, there we go. Okay, so... November 3rd is a band called Mind Open. If you want to see, if you've never seen Electric Vibes played uh, in a cool rock jazz environment situation, come to see uh, Mind Open, and it's really great stuff. I think we are probably ready to get ourselves going, I believe. I'm getting thumbs up from the folks up there in the booth. I'm getting thumbs up in the back, <laughs> which is the most important thumb up. Um, I had the pleasure of spending the afternoon speaking with our very special guest tonight. And uh, what can I say? He, his, he is inimitable as a performer. He is uh, uh, just a one-of-a-kind uh, guitar player. Uh, you probably, if you're familiar with him, you may know him. He was with this little band called uh, w Wings. That's it, yeah. Yeah, uh, in, in the late 1970s and through into the 80s. And um, since then, he has recorded a string of brilliant solo albums, uh, done an incredible amount of session work. His albums are, some of his albums are available in the back after the show. Lawrence will sign them for you and say hi. Uh, and I'm going to waste no more time. Please welcome to the Port Washington Library stage the incredible Mr. Lawrence Juber.
Thank you. Thank you very much. That's the tune of mine, Cobalt Blue. Um, before that, Phil Shannon's Runaway. And I opened up with Catch, another one of my compositions, uh, inspired by the club that used to be in Manhattan, Cashew Rising Stars, which is where I met my wife, Hope, 40, oh, 42 years ago. And we've been married 41 years. Thank you. Married 41 years and in Hollywood years, that's what? 300, 
Thank you. First Beatle tune of the evening. Not the last. And before that, of course, um, Paul song, Maybe I'm Amazed, part of the Wings repertoire. Okay. Guitar players, I was in Dagad tuning. Now going to CGDGAD tuning. This is a tune of mine called Mosaic. Thank you. That gets played on, on Sirius Radio. It's either the Spa Channel or Watercolors. I'm not sure which, but I'll take it whichever way it comes up. Okay, let's do uh, Friday Night at the Movies now. Um, uh, when I did my interview earlier on today with, with Tony, he asked me about my... Um, who my favorite like fictitious hero was and 
I was a little bit stumped. And, and in fact, this is one, probably my favorite fictitious anti-hero. Um, uh, this is the Burt Bacharach's theme from Alfie. And uh, yeah, it's just a, such a cool composition. But And in England, the, the hit was Scylla Black had a hit with it. In America, I think it was Dionne Warwick. But if you watch the movie, the end credit is actually sung by Cher. So, yeah, a much covered song. Um, but this is uh, my rendition of Alfie. <laughs>
Thank you. Live and let die. And before that, the Pink Panther. From and Alfie. So three movie themes there. Yeah, growing up, I was, I was a big fan of the James Bond novels. Um, and I guessed, th you know, kind of James Bond would qualify as a... As a uh, as a fictitious hero. I'm not sure that, you know, as the movies developed, that it was quite the same character as uh, in the early days. But I, I did have the uh, rather exciting experience of recording on the soundtrack of The Spy Who Loved Me and actually getting to play <laughs> stuff just amazing <laughs> love doing that yeah um, so I guess well, some years ago I, I was asked to put together a, a folio of arrangements of popular songs by the publishers Hal Leonard and one of the songs I did was um, Stand By Me and I you know to go along with the these transcriptions, I did a recording, but I never really intended to release it. But my old record company said, oh, you, you really have to. I insist, he said. So I said, okay, you can do it. And it came out and then got licensed by for, for a commercial, for a diamond commercial. Which was pretty exciting um, to actually hear it on television like that. But, but with and this was going back now, you know. Sidebar, social media evolution before Facebook. There was MySpace. You remember MySpace? I mean, you can go back kind of generations of social media, but on MySpace, 
all of a sudden I was getting like hundreds of, of requests from young women to play at their wedding. <laughs> Which, I, you know, I was not going to do, but they kindly downloaded the recording and, and used the recording at their wedding. But it was the exciting part was when it first came out, you, if you looked on the, the, as it was then, the iTunes chart, it was like, Stand By Me, Benny King. Stand By Me, John Lennon. Stand by me, Lawrence Juba. Ooh. And then it was stand by me, Benny King. Stand by me, Lawrence Juba. Stand by me, John Lennon. And for one week, <laughs> it was stand by me, Lawrence Juba, then Benny King, then, yeah. You know, I, I t I playing acoustic guitar like this is hardly kind of, you know, big pop star stuff, but you can take your small victories, you know, when they come up. Thank you. Here's a tune of mine called Pass the Buck. Thank you. 
Thank you. Pass the buck. You know, I mean, it's fun and, and lucrative, too, to, to hear, hear one's music played on the radio, but that tune in particular um, got picked up by a number of fingerstyle guitar players uh, when it shortly after it came out. And the, um, the exciting thing was I was in, in, I think it was King's Cross subway station in, in London, which is kind of a maze. That you know, there's lots of kind of tunnels that you walk through. And, and I was waiting for the train, and I heard it echoing. I heard that tune echoing around the tunnels. And someone, somewhere in King's Cross Station was playing it. And I, I couldn't figure out where it was. So it's just a memory, you know. But I wanted to at least put, you know, some money in the guy's hat. All right, here's uh, Strawberry Fields Forever.
Thank you. Okay. I think a Who song. Uh, first time I ever played this in public was in front of Pete Townsend. A challenge, that was, but he enjoyed it happily. Won't get fooled again.
Thank you. I'm going to go something romantic now. This is a tune of mine called Love at First Sight.
I think it was important to give George a tune. Okay. Guitar players, standard tuning. Chord shapes you might recognize. Thank you. Thank you very much. All of me, that dates from 1931. Um, I've been putting out a series of, of original compositions for solo guitar. And uh, this one is the most recent. Came out about a week ago. 
And I, what I do when I release these, I'm also publishing the transcriptions. And this is, um, this is called Ziggy All Alone. Ziggy is a little uh, kind of a chihuahua-ish mutt that we have. And um, our, our big dog Juno uh, passed uh, some years ago, and, and Ziggy was just so distraught by this, and it, it kind of led me to compose this. So this is Ziggy all alone. Thank you, Ziggy All Alone. You can find that on Spotify and you know all those streaming services. Um, this is another tune of mine. It's called Liquid Amber. Uh, in our front yard, we have this this very large liquid amber tree, and. I was sitting outside of my studio and started playing this, and um, and it came together fairly quickly. Um, it was actually it needed to because I had originally I, I played my tune Mosaic earlier, and I got asked to contribute to an album um, that Wyndham Hill Records was putting out, and I thought, well, I'll give them Mosaic, and then I discovered that they would own it for a period of time, and I didn't like that. So I figured, well, I'll write something new. And I had, you know, maybe 30 minutes <laughs> before my bass player came over to rehearse the tune that we were about to record. So um, this popped out, so this is Liquid Amber. <laughs> Thank you. 
Thank you. It's only a paper moon by the great Harold Arlen. Um, this is a tune of mine called PCH. PCH, that's Pacific Coast Highway, not Publishers Clearinghouse. <laughs> Thank you. 
Thank you very much, thank you. Well, thank you so much. Uh, round of applause for our, our sound and lights, please. Okay. So, uh, if you were at the lecture uh, earlier on today or watched it online, um, we talked about there being a, a Chet Atkins album that um, had the Bach, Bach Bure, which was something that influenced Paul McCartney to write his accompaniment to Blackbird. So that same kind of guitaristic movement. And I had done some detective work to discover that uh, it was this Chet Atkins album that George had that led to Paul and the George learning the tune. But on the same album, there's a tune called Walk Don't Run, uh, which was a big hit for the Ventures. Um, but the song was actually written by a jazz guitar player named Johnny Smith. And, and he didn't intend to write it. Um, he was actually doing an arrangement of a, an old Oscar Hammerstein's Sigmund Romberg song called Softly as in a Morning Sunrise. And he came up with a little counter melody. And he thought, well, wait a minute. That's kind of cool on its own. And there was his pension fund right there. <laughs> <laughs> so this is uh, my take on, on uh, Walk Don't Run. <laughs> Thank you. 
one last one for you. Um, <laughs> when Paul McCartney met John Lennon in 1957, the song that Paul played for John was an Eddie Cochran tune called 20 Flight Rock, which John was impressed with Paul because he knew the words. Um, this was actually in the Wings set list too, it was a favorite of Paul, so 20 Flight Rock. <laughs> machine when it comes to rocking she's a queen she loves to dance on a saturday night all alone where i can hold her tight she lives on the 20th floor uptown the elevator's broken down so i climb one two five three five four five six seven five eight five more around the 12th i'm starting to sag 15th floor i'm ready to drag i get to the top i'm too tired to rock she called me up on the telephone Said, come on over, honey, I'm all alone I said, baby, you're mighty sweet But I'm in bed with aching feet Well, this went on for a couple of days But I couldn't stay away So I climbed one, two, five, three, five, four Five, six, seven, five, eight, five more Around the 12th time I started to sag 15th floor, I'm ready to drag I get to the top, I'm too tired to rock Chicago for repairs Until it's done, I'm taking the stairs Hope they hurry up before it's too late I want my baby too much to wait All this climbing is getting me down They found my corpse draped over a rail While I climb one, two, five, three, five, four Five, six, seven, five, eight, five more Around the twelfth, I'm starting to sag Fifteenth floor, I'm ready to drag I get to the top, I'm too tired to rock Thank you very much. Thank you. Good night. Thank you, Tony, for inviting me here. Cheers. Super. Lawrence Super, give it up. Thank you, Lawrence. Thank you, everyone, for coming out. Lawrence's CDs are available in the back. If you'd like to pick up a CD, I'm sure that Lawrence will sign it for you. An incredible set by Lawrence Juber. Thank you, everyone, for coming out tonight to the Port Washington Library Sound Swap. Thank you again to Lawrence Juber, the one and only. And uh, let's do this again sometime. All right. <laughs>